Welcome back guys. Uh, today we're going to be putting a tarp kit onto the dump trailer. Got this off of Amazon. It's a buyer's products kit. I'll put the link down in the description if you have one. Um, it's pretty, all this part here is really all generic. It's expandable to meet, you know, the width of your trailer. So if you got a big trailer, small trailer, or you could even use it for a dump body on a truck. It looks like it gives you some hooks to catch the ends, rollers, nice bearings on each side, that's nice. Um, a sprocket here, which is actually used as the catch to keep it in place. They even gave you some bungee cords. And then over here, I got a tarp. So I got a seven by 18 tarp. My trailer is seven by 14. So they say go a couple feet longer. So they say two feet, I went four feet just cause you know, a little bit more is better. So we'll get started trying to figure out how all this is going to get get laid out. So my trailer already has these cutouts up front for these bearings and everything. And these holes are real close to fitting these. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything off of these brackets on both sides. Now the bearing directly to this piece. And then I'll just measure that same distance to keep this lock assembly drill the hole in there for that um, these don't really fit that good in place i'd have to cut that bracket off there um, same on the other side there's really no good place to put them so that's why i'm gonna take that piece off and start from scratch kind of so this side's all mounted up what i did is there's the two holes on this side i welded them both up and then re-drilled the hole so it lined up shot it with a quick coat of primer and then on this other side i already got the two holes drilled out and i cut the bracket that it came with short so we clear this other bracket here and i'm using that as a template to drill the hole for the latch mechanism so the shaft that goes from side to side has this inner piece which is what allows the adjustability of it so i marked the center point and i'll slide it in on one side until it meets you, matches that center point and I'm just going to put a couple screws in here just to hold it in place and then slide it in and then expand it to the right size to fit once it's in the trailer and I'll screw down the other side. Good old healthy load of any C's. So we get the bar in. Next thing we're going to do is it's not really necessary, but where the set screws go into the bearing here, I like to just put a little pilot with a drill bit, just something for them to catch into a little bit better. And then we'll put some Loctite on those too, just so they don't come out. So I got the sprocket on. So you can see it prevents motion from that way. And then I'll let you go around like that. And then it locks in place and then you can undo it and it cams over itself and stays. So I got this all set up, tied in there again. And I drilled one hole and center using a speed cap. And I got the tarp laid out here on the ground. I'm gonna take the tarp and go up from behind and catch that center one, and then just go out as I do it. And I'm using fender washers with panhead Allen bolts to secure it. So tarp's all wrapped up. I did weld on these brackets on the front here. Alternatively, you can't bolt them on. I just chose to weld them. So now that it's all spooled up, the next thing we have to do is put a set of these in the back. These are up front, so you have a place to tie the tarp off to when you're not using it. And then you need a set on the back so that when you're covered, you can uh, have something to hook it out in the back. And that's going to be through a bar that we're going to put through here. Um, you can buy the bar. I didn't want to pay for what they wanted for just a piece of pipe. So I'm gonna get a piece of electrical conduit and weld some big washers on the end of it and that's what my bar is gonna be made out of. So I use a piece of rigid conduit for the bar going across with the end piece, a one inch washer, the nut and the little plastic protector. I put a little bit of Loctite on that nut so it doesn't back off but it cost me like 10 bucks worth of stuff versus however much they charge you for a bar that's essentially the same thing. So I have it locked in up front and they give you this rope with a hook so you can hook on hook on it like that and you can take your rope 
and you can throw it over your load. Come over here, undo it, come out back. Take your rope. You got somewhere you can reach it. You can take it. Yeah. Hook it on the sides there. Hook it inside the there. Go up front. Pull the latch. It nice and tight just like that now you got a nice covered covered load so that's going to wrap up this project i'll shoot what i primed with a quick coat of paint we'll call that a day so like comment subscribe let me know what you want to see on the channel have a good one